Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Navy families. It's such uh, an honor to be here performing some bubble tricks for you today from here in the Bubble Lab. First of all, I want to say thanks for the sacrifice that all of you and your family members have made serving in the Navy, protecting our shores, keeping us all safe. We love what they do and we appreciate the sacrifice that you all make to keep us safe. So that being said, are you guys ready for some bubble fun? Awesome. My name's Steve Langley and I am with the Soap Bubble Circus and I am a bubbleologist. I practice the art of bubbleology. Have some of you played with bubbles before? I bet you have. I bet you have, especially now that we've been sort of sheltering in place and it's springtime, kind of the bubble season. We're going to have some bubble fun today. I'm going to show you some bubble tricks. One of my goals with every show is everybody is going to learn something they didn't know about bubbles before they saw my demonstration, and everyone's going to see some things done with bubbles that they've never seen done before. Those are my two goals. Uh, hopefully, we'll accomplish those objectives. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about soap bubbles. We're going to learn a little bit about soap bubbles. I'm going to make a nice bubble here on my bubble wand. Let me make a nice bubble. I'm going to make that nice bubble. Let me grab a hold of it. Now, that's one of the secrets of bubbleology. Whatever the bubble touches, if it's wet, it won't pop. My wand is wet, so I can grab that bubble and hold on to it, and it won't pop. So one of the most common things that does pop bubbles is something dry touching it. Usually, it's a kid's finger. That's the most common things that pops bubbles, usually a kid's finger. But it could be anything dry floating in the air. If it touches the bubble and it's dry, poof, it pops. Now, soap bubble film is very flexible stuff. It's very flexible stuff. Watch this. Wow, 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 wow. This first trick I'm going to show you, it shows how flexible soap bubble film is. It's called the soap bubble trampoline. I'm going to blow a bubble out of the soap film, and when it comes down, he's being lazy today. He's going to bounce off the soap film like a trampoline. Watch. Boing. <gasps> Look at that. It's a soap bubble trampoline. Let's see if he's... Oh, he popped. Let's try it again. There we go. There's another one. Let's see if he wants to bounce. Boing. Blah, loop. <gasps> Bubble in a bubble. Let's see if I can do another one. Watch. Bubble in a bubble. Bubble in a bubble. Bubble in a bubble. Cool. That brings me to my next trick. This one's called the Speedway Bubble. Watch this. Watch this. You're going to love this one. I'm going to make a nice bubble. I'm going to put it on my wand. Then I'm going to put a whole bunch of little bubbles in there going around really fast like a Speedway. It's got a surprise ending. Watch close. Here we go. <gasps> Watch, there's the surprise ending. Woo, bubbles everywhere. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love that one. That's one of my favorites. All right. Now, let me cut the light on here on my light table so we can see some of the colors in a soap bubble. Once you put a little light under a bubble, you can really see the colors a lot better because bubbles are mostly water. They're 95% water. Now, some of you may not know this. I forgot to mention it earlier, but I am actually a Guinness world record holding bubbleologist. I'll take a round of applause for that. Thank you. I actually hold eight Guinness World Records. One of the records that I hold with bubbles is for the world's longest hanging chain of connected soap bubbles. Would you like to see me do one now? Awesome. I'll give you a little demonstration. Now, soap bubbles are very predictable. They're very predictable. Certain things they'll do the same way every time. For example, if I blow one bubble and I put another one under it, very close to it, they'll join each other. They'll link up. Using that technique, we can build a chain. That's four. That's five. Let's see if we can't do 10 today. Six, seven. Woo, come here. That's eight. I ate a bubble one time. It tasted terrible. Oh, eight, come here. Come here, Mr. Eight. Let's do two more. That's nine. Let's see if we can't put one more. And that's 10 bubbles. It's a 10 bubble caterpillar chain. Look, and it's dancing. It's dancing. Look at him go. Oh, oh, he's break dancing now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, who out there in the audience today can tell me what shape a soap bubble is? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Nope, it's not a circle. Good guess. Most people say circle, but that's actually incorrect. A soap bubble is a sphere. It's a sphere. That means it's round in every direction. It's like your eyeballs. They're spheres. The planet that we're on, it's a sphere. Now, whenever you see a free-floating soap bubble, it's going to always be a sphere. 
unless you're a bubbleologist like me. I'm going to show you something that you've never seen before. This is going to be one of those moments. I'm going to make a soap bubble cube, and the audience goes, ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Well done. Now, in order for me to make a soap bubble cube, I've got to create a sculpture. A soap bubble cube has six sides. So I'm going to make a six bubble sculpture, one on the top, one on the bottom, and four around the sides. So we have a six bubble sculpture, one on the top, one on the bottom, four around the sides. Now, if I go in the middle and blow a bubble, that bubble in the center has no choice but to be a cube. Now, some of you can see it, some of you can't. I'm going to put a little bit of my bubble vapor or bubble fog in there and make the cube show up just a little bit better. There we go. As you can see, does everyone see the bubble cube in there? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever seen a bubble cube before? Here, let me spin it around so you can see that it is a perfect cube, the same size, the same shape on each side. There we go. How about that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Now, while we're doing some bubble sculptures, I'm going to do one of my favorite ones. This may be my last one. I have to look and see how much time I have left. This one is called the Soap Bubble Volcano. Ooh, nice. You're getting the hang of it. Now, this is not just going to be any volcano. Not just any volcano. This is going to be a two-stage soap bubble volcano. So, I'm going to start out with an upside down internal volcano. And then I'll finish with the right side up external volcano. Another one of those moments where you're probably going to see something you've never, ever seen before. Now, I've got to make sure my wand is good and wet because when anything touches the bubble, what happens? It pops. That's right. You remembered some of you were paying attention. So we're going to start out with this one. We'll put a bubble on the bottom of my wand. Now we're going to put a vapor-filled bubble on the top. Look at that. It's like a snowman that forgot to put his pants on. <laughs> now, here we go. The upside-down internal volcano. Whoa, dude. And then we will finish with the right side up. External volcano. There she blows. Whoa. Let's see if we can't make some polka dots. There we go. More polka dots, more polka dots. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Langley. This is the Soap Bubble Circus. Thanks to Carol and everybody over at Everything But The Mime. And once again, thanks to all you Navy families for all the sacrifices you make for our country. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.